Yo, welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. And today, you guys probably already saw the title, but I'm gonna be trashing a pet every single time my pet fails in this video. So if you guys saw a video that I made a couple of days ago, you guys know that I used Siri to like make one of my pets pretty much. So I just like asked her a random number between, I forget what it was, but it was a number between like, is it in the 60s or something because that's around how many pets i have inside my backpack right now and then i pretty much just hatched that pet with a pet in the kiosk and i asked for a random number to get the talents from that pet as well but this time we're not going to be looking for any talents i'm going to be trying to make a specific pet but like i said if my pet does fail i'm going to be trashing one so i'm going to be asking her for a number between that's 64. I'm pretty sure that's 71. So I'm going to be asking her for a number between 1 and 71. You guys know that I have a bunch of actual good pets in here. Like I'm telling you, my pets are pretty decent. Like there's a couple of fails. There's a decent amount of fails I'd say. And there's some that aren't actually mega. But whichever one my uh, Siri tells me I, that I land on, I'm going to just be trashing it. There is just a regular Cyclops. So I mean, I guess we have a chance of getting that. I don't really have high hopes though. I'm not gonna lie, because there's a bunch of actual good pets inside of here, so I'm super scared. But yeah, like I said, there is still a bunch of fails, so we do have a decent chance of getting a bad pet every single time we do fail a pet, but you know, I'm not too sure. We're just gonna try and make the pet. You know, ideally, we just would make the pet and not have any fails, and that I wouldn't have to trash any of my pets, but you know, we're probably gonna get at least one fail, so I'm not really having my hopes high for this one. I'm gonna just hope that it's not a bad pet that I have to trash. But okay, pretty much the pet that I wanna make today, if you guys saw my video yesterday, I kinda tried to make this, but I really, that wasn't really the focus of that video. I wanna make a balance blade pet for my balance. I wanna make one pretty much like this, just instead of pain giver, I wanna have armor breaker, and then I wanna be able to put on like dragon lance, I guess, so that I can have like a double make ass blade pretty much. But I do know there's one that's pretty close inside of here. So I think I'm going to try and find that one again. It was this one. This is the one that was the exact pet that I wanted. But last time it wasn't available. So I don't think it's going to be available. Oh, it was. Okay, yo. That's actually so clutch. Okay. And I think we actually got his pet too. Yo, that's crazy. Duke Cooper. Yo, that's actually insane. So I think I'm going to use the cannon game. I could either use the dance game the um the what is that that's grumpy gobblers or i can use the cannon game i think i'm going to start off on the cannon game and if the cannon game fails me then i'll move over to one of the other ones but yeah we're gonna start off here so the stats are super nice as well we're just gonna train it up to teen i guess and see what it gets honestly i'm hoping for balance blade early on because last time i went for this pet we just didn't get balance blade Nah, fuck that. I'm not even counting that as a fail yet. Because it can still get some pretty decent talents to where it's not a bad pet. So if it gets something really bad, then I will count that as a fail. But like, right now, it's not all that bad. It's one away from adult. Balance dealer. Okay, that's good. It's one train away from ancient. So I'm going to train it up and see what it gets. So far, it does have enfeeble and balance dealer. So honestly, if we still do get balance blade, I would still take that. And then if we got like proof into like armor breaker or something that i could always just put on brace defy i mean that wouldn't be too bad but if we get another giver then that's probably a fail because i don't really know how that would work out but you know what who cares let's just train up the pet see what it gets proof okay that's super nice i feel like i just said proof really weirdly i was like proof it's already one train away from epic so hopefully we get something like armor breaker would probably be the best or bounce blade one of those would be nice. Even if we do get the Fi, I wouldn't be too mad at that. But yeah, let's just train it up and see what it gets. Oh. I mean, is that where we call it quits, though? Is that considered a fail now? Because I don't know how good this can be anymore. Well, actually, to be honest, if this gets Armor Breaker at Mega, this isn't even a bad pet. It'll be a somewhat weird, enfeeble, double pierce, proof, and dealer pet. But then I can always just sock it on Brace the Fi. And then this pet actually isn't too bad. Obviously, it was not what I was going for, but it's not technically a fail yet. So if it gets Armor Breaker and Mega, then I'm going to consider that not a fail. But if it gets anything else, even Balance Blade at this point, that's probably a fail. Because, like, it's Armor Piercer, not Armor Breaker. And, yeah, literally, I don't know. If we get the Fi, I don't know. Because we could always just put on Armor Breaker if we get the Fi. But, like, I do have an Armor Breaker Jewel. So, okay, if it gets Defy or Armor Breaker, 
then it's not a fail. Anything else, I'm considering it a fail. Okay, I got it one train away from Mega. Like I said, either Defy or Armor Breaker, and then it's not considered a fail. Anything else, though, I'm considering that a fail. This has been such an interesting pet so far, because it started off horrible with Enfeeble, but then it ended up not being too bad. But okay, I'm gonna train it up. Should I cover up my screen? Yeah, I'm gonna cover up my screen so you guys will be able to see what it gets before I do. So I'm doing it blind pretty much. But okay, um, I'm just gonna feed the snack. Please, one of those things. Um, literally anything else. It's just pretty much a fail. So let's check the stats. Um, I, I think that's Defy actually, right? I'm pretty sure that's Defy. When I have proof and Defy, I'm pretty sure that's what my resist is. And then, yeah, we didn't get Pierce. So I'm pretty sure that's Defy. No! Wait, what? I could have sworn my resist wasn't over 30 unless I had both of them. What? That's... Oh my god. You know, the pet isn't even really that bad either, though. That's the thing. Like, it's, it's not the worst pet, just like... If it had Armor Breaker instead of the Piercer, I wouldn't consider that a fail. I would just sock it on Brace Defy and I would be super down with this pet. And still, I could even use this pet if I wanted to because it's only one less Pierce. But technically, aesthetics-wise on a pet, I would consider this a fail. So, okay, I'm gonna get Siri ready. I'm gonna unequip the pet too and then just, like, go back like that. So, it is in the pool to, like get deleted pretty much so i could trash that pet that i just made so now i should be at 72 pets i'm pretty sure because we should be at full a full nine pages right yeah we are so now it's 72 pets so i'm gonna get siri and we're gonna see which one we do hey siri give me a number between one and 72 the answer is six six okay that's one of the pets on my first page please one two three four Five. Why couldn't it have been that one? Six? Oh, okay, I'm a, oh my gosh, that's actually so clutch. Holy shit. This is like one of the only ancient, I mean, I guess I do have some, but most of my pets inside my bag are just mega, but like, that's crazy that's an ancient pet. So I, I'm down to get rid of this one too. I didn't even equip it, but here, it's literally, it's not that great. I wasn't going to train this one up anyways, so I'll just get rid of it. Why not? I definitely dodged the bullet on that one, but I am going to go back and try and make the balance blade pet again. I just fed into my addiction, but it's okay. We're going to buy pro right now, and we're going to go back, and we're going to try and make the pet. This time, I don't think there's going to be a pet inside of the kiosk that has exactly what I need, but I think there's some that are pretty close. So I'm going to try and look for the one that I hatched with yesterday. Wait, I think it was this one. So I wouldn't really be able to put Dragon Lance on this pet if I did get this exact thing. Because I would have to put on Brace Defy. But you know, my pet already has Defy manifested. So you never know. We could still get Defy. So I'm going to hatch these two together. And it is available. I did get my pet back. But honestly, it's fine. You know what? I don't really need the flamenco. I just feel like the flamenco is a bit better for balance. We got Scrappy Scooter, and I was going to use the cannon game again, but I'm actually going to go to Grumpy Gobblers and see if it doesn't fail at this one this time. So let's train up the teen and just see what it gets. Hopefully it doesn't fail. Armor Breaker, that's a great start. I think it's two away now, or maybe it's one away. Let's see. Oh, Balance Giver. I mean, it can still be good. That's not a fail yet. Because it could still get Dealer, Giver, Armor Breaker, Proof, and then Bounce Blade, and it would still be nice. So I'm going to train up the Ancient, but if it gets another one of the Givers, then it's not really that great. It's one train away from Ancient. Let's see what it gets. Oh, no. What the fuck, man? I literally just said if it gets another one of the Givers, it's not good. You guys know what that means. Another fail pet means I gotta trash another pet. So we're gonna unequip that one, and we're gonna go back in our bag. I got Siri ready, too. So, hey, Siri, can I get a number between 1 and 72? Oh, I didn't turn my volume back on. Hold up. I have to do that again. Okay, let's try that again. Hey, Siri, can I get a number between 1 and 72? It's 18. 18. So that's 8, that's 16, and then that's 17, and 18. Oh, okay. Wait, is this the one that I made? It might be the one that I made a couple of days ago. Yeah, I think this is straight up the pet that I made using Siri. I'm going to go back to that video and check that. That would be such a weird coincidence. Okay, no, the one I made using Siri a couple of days ago was actually this one. So this is just another random Maycast one, which honestly, I'm fine with getting rid of. I mean, it kind of sucks, but you know what? I don't really care. I'm never going to use this pet anyway, so bye. Okay, this is going to be my last attempt to actually make this pet. 
but we're going to hatch with one that had the exact same stats as the last one because this is really the only one left in the kiosk that is pretty decent with balance blade for balance. I mean, I did get my egg, but like, I don't really care at this point. I would have rather the flamenco like I said earlier, but it's fine. This time we're actually going to use the dance game because I did recently get that one to 100 out of 100. So I'm going to start training it up. Hopefully this time we can actually get a decent pet with balance blade, please. Armor breaker, that is a great start. But last time we started with Armor Breaker, we got both the Givers next, so I'm really hoping we don't get the Givers this time. If we get something like Balance Blade, or even Balance Dealer, I'll take that. Okay, it's one more away. That's fine, please give me Balance Blade. Defy, I mean, I'll take that. That's not bad. I mean, actually, yeah, that's good for the perfect pet, because I do want to put on Dragon Lance. So yeah, that's actually pretty decent. But now we definitely need to get Balance Blade. If we don't get Balance Blade then this pet just isn't going to be that great. It's definitely not a fail though yet. So we're going to keep training it up. I'm pretty sure it's close to ancient. It's like one away now. Okay, let's see what it gets. Balance dealer. That is super nice. Now all we need to get is proof and balance blade. No way. That's the worst two combination. That was the same thing that I had to do last time. Like in my last video and I ended up getting... What did I get? I think I got triple damage or something and then like defy and armor breaker so i got both the givers next up bro if that happens to me again i'm actually gonna cry but you know what it hasn't failed yet so i'm just gonna train it up to epic the pets one train away from epic hopefully it gets balance blade proof okay that's not even bad though that's actually not even bad but now it could end up being the exact same pet that i already have that's the only issue if we don't get Balance Blade, it's gonna suck so much. It's that epic right up there. Just for my own personal sanity, I'm actually gonna do a rehatch really quick. I still am gonna Mega that one, but I do still wanna make the Balance Blade pet. I'm not gonna train this one up anyways. I'm just gonna train this one up to Mega. This just in case this one doesn't get Balance Blade, because I still do wanna make the pet. So I got the pet one train away from Mega. This is the second pet that we're actually Megaing this video. And the last pet actually got Balance Blade and Mega, which is what we need on this pet. So honestly i'm feeling pretty decent but if we do get one of the givers then it's literally the exact same pet that i hatched with which is where is it i think it's wait what did i miss it where's simba oh here it's right here it would be the exact same thing as this so that'll obviously suck but you know what I'm willing to take the risk. I already trained it up with using all this energy and all these snacks. So I literally just need Balance Blade. I'm going to do this blind again. So I'm going to cover up my screen. And you guys will be able to see what it gets before I do. So I'm covering up my screen. Please give me Balance Blade game. That's all I want. Okay, there. I clicked off of it. If it does get one of the givers, then I'm going to cry. I think that just got Pain Giver. I'm, oh my god. I think that's Pain Giver. Fuck. I'm not even counting that as a fail though, because it technically didn't fail with anything. It just didn't get what I wanted, which I mean, it's not even too bad of a pet if you think about it. And I am kind of happy about it, because if I were to put Mighty on this one, the one that I already had, I'm pretty sure Dealer wasn't going to be 11 or something. Because there was some reason why I didn't want to put Mighty on it, and I didn't want to actually grind to get Mighty, because it was going to be visually unappealing. I don't think it was that Armor Breaker wasn't going to be 4, because the agility is so high, so I'm pretty sure it wasn't that. I think it was that Dealer wasn't going to be 11. But yeah, on this pet, Dealer should be 11, Armor Breaker should be 4. So honestly, if I can get a Mighty Jewel... That wouldn't even be bad to put on this, but I also could just put on like a uh, Dragon Lance or something. But you know what? It's okay. I still do have that backup patch, so I'll probably train that up at some time, but not today. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy the video, then make sure to leave a like and also subscribe. And if you haven't joined my Discord yet, that'll be the top link in the description, so go and join that. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time.